Hey there, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja, and today we're going to talk about Radiant Barrier. It is so ridiculously hot outside, and you probably want to cool your attic. Stay tuned. Okay, so just so you know a little background about us, we used to do attics. We have become so busy with crawl spaces that we decided to only focus on crawl spaces. But when we were doing attics, one of the big things we would always push was radiant barrier. And the reason why is because it's almost like putting a shade tree over your attic. Okay, if you've ever been out in your uh, driveway, for example, if you've got a driveway right there at your house and you've ever been barefoot and uh, maybe the shade from the house is covering part of the driveway, but the other part is really hot, well, that is kind of the same premise of radiant barrier. So if you've got a shade over your house, now if you've got a big shade tree over your house, you probably don't need radiant barrier, but if the sun is hitting that roof directly, radiant barrier is a good idea. Okay, so there are many, 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 many different types of radiant barrier. There's bubbled radiant barrier, there's radiant barrier with foam board insulation on the back, there's radiant barrier with insulation. So anyway, what, I, what I'm gonna talk about is the type of radiant barrier we've always used and we recommend. And uh, it's also available on our DIY page. And what this is, is this type of radiant barrier is a two-faced radiant barrier. Okay, so it doesn't matter how you put it up and it's also perforated. So it allows moisture to wick through it if it needs to. Okay, so uh, that's really nice. So that way as, as air is traveling up through the roof decking, it's pulling air and all that hot radiant heat out of the ridge vent or the solar attic fan that you may have installed in the roof. Okay, so real quick, a couple things about radiant barrier. Um, it is not recommended to lay it on the attic floor, especially on top of the blown in insulation or whatever you've got. Because even though it is perforated and is uh, supposed to allow moisture to wick through it, it can still hold moisture between itself and the ceiling of your home. Uh, so if you've got ducts going underneath this thing, they could condensate, or if you got perhaps a plumbing uh, ish, uh, some people have plumbing in their attic, all kinds of things. So you never want to lay it on the ground. The other thing about it is they say it becomes less effective if you lay it on the ground because it gets covered in dust, all right? So the radiant barrier doesn't need to be dusty. So what we've always done is we've attached it to the roof decking. So as you got your roof decking, you just staple it to the roof decking. The nice thing about ours is we, may, we have a brand that's wide enough to actually cover two 16 inch on center so that way you can actually cover two at once if you decided to go up and down with it but if you got somebody helping you it's always better to go long ways because our our uh, roll will actually do a thousand square feet so you could go uh, long ways if you got one person on that end and one person on this end and maybe a guy stapling as he goes down through there so there's a there's a lot of misconceptions about radiant barrier but uh, just remember if you've got shade trees you don't probably need it. If you just got one of these brand new houses that was just built and they stripped all the trees out and your attic is 150 degrees, Radiant Barrier would probably be a great idea. So I'm gonna put a link down below to one of our Radiant Barrier blogs that we wrote that puts a lot more information out there about it. But if you're looking to cool your hot attic, this is a great place to start with Radiant Barrier. So my name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja and don't forget to check out that Radiant Barrier on our DIY page. And of course, it's always free shipping. So thank you very much and we uh, hope you make it a happy and blessed day. Thanks for watching.